Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook static FBML application. But before I do that, let me explain what exactly this application is. All right. So if you go to the Tizish fan page, then you'll see that we have a tab called free contest. And you'll see that if you if you're if you're already a fan of our site of our of this page then this tab you won't see this tab as the first one but if you're not a fan if you're not yet a fan of of the Tizish page and you have not liked it yet then basically this is going to be your first welcome tab on this video I'm going to show you how to install the application that lets you put this kind of tab here but I'm not going to go into the details of how exactly do you make a graphically styled one all right cuz that one's more advanced and I'm going to do those on another tutorial you know, and that one does require coding, so I wouldn't really recommend you do it yourself. Maybe you just get someone to help you with it and so forth. But I'll cover that on another tutorial. This one is just to show you how to install it, all right, and how to set it as your home tab. So here's what you have to do in the search bar when you log in, type in the following type in static and then FBML, and you're going to see this application come up. What you got to do is click on this application, and then you'll see this page come up, and on this application, uh, I would like it. I just realized I didn't like it, but I'm going to. It's now liked on my end. But without, you don't have to like it. You could just choose to add it. And here's what you do. Under this question mark, see where it says add to my page. You have to click on add to my page. And then all you got to do is find the page that you want to add it to. And then click on add to page. All right. I'm going to pretend that I've already done, I mean not pretend, I already have done this. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume you click on add to page. After you click on add to page, you have to do the following go now to your fan page like page business page whatever you want to call it go to your fan page and now at this point under your picture click on edit page now here in the edit page section you're gonna have an application that says that that looks like this look for this icon it might say something different on yours but look for the icon that looks like this and it should be the it should say this exact text talking about adding fit the static FBML application here's what you have to do with this page or with this application basically you click on edit and then this lets you put in all of your info see where it says box title let me give you guys perspective so you see what we're talking about see how the tab name is free contest and then the content is the following well for your for your box title that's gonna become the title of your tab and then whatever you put inside FBML here is going to become your new content for it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do another test one just to show you guys a live full example. So I clicked on add another FBML box. If you want to add, have multiple ones and after you click on add, then you have to go back to edit where we were. And then see right here it says get updates. This is an old one, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I click on edit. And now let's just go ahead and make a test one. So this is a test box just to show you guys. I'm putting all this content here. Let's say that's my content. And then I'm going to have the box title be test box. Now when I click on save, what's going to happen is the following. On the fan page, you have to you know, refresh your pages. On your fan page, you're going to have this these options here one of them that has this arrow key and this other one has the plus key what you need to do is hit the plus key my mistake not the plus key hit the air the double arrow key and if you don't see your new title that you just made so see how it says test box the one that I had just made if you don't see that then you have to refresh your page because it has to process and load through Facebook so I had to refresh my page just now and now you click on this double arrow and see when I click on test box, watch what happens. It's going to show me all my content that I had just put in here under my test box. So here's my test box. Remember, whatever content you put here. All right. Now, this is how you put this is how you put the content. You put a tab up here. Now, let's say you want to make this test box tab be your welcome screen, meaning non fans are going to be on this page when they land on your fan page before they like it. Well, here's how you do that. Here's how you make your new tab the default welcome tab. In your options, you go back to edit, go back to your edit page section, and you go here in this section, go to where you're at edit page. And under wall settings, you have to click on edit. 
And now you see this right here, default view for wall. I would put all posts. And now default landing tab for everyone else, I would put whatever tab you want. So if I want a test box to be my default tab, then I just choose it here. And after doing that, you'll see it loaded and it's all set. There's no save button. Just understand that when you change the setting, you'll see a loading thing right here. And then once it disappears, you're all set. Just to, to, to fully confirm, just hit refresh on your browser and then go back to edit and then you'll see the new update here. All right. So that's everything. By doing that, then what you will now have is a landing, a default landing tab that's named whatever it is that you named it. And then the whole point is though, this default tab should be your like welcome page. You know, um, if you, you want to have a graphic, so you're probably going to have to put images and so forth. I'll be showing those on other tutorials, but what I'd recommend really is to either uh, have someone do that for you or uh, let me know exactly what you're trying to add and I'm more than happy to show you tutorials on how to add them, all right? But I will be doing follow-up tutorials on adding more technical items, all right? So um, the, a quick item, I do recommend, I would recommend the following actually, uh, just embedding an image actually. Putting an image here would be very easy and I'm going to take another two minutes to do this, but understand for the most part this tutorial is done. But if you want to see how to just put a general image into here, here's how you would do that, all right? Um, you could do that in your actual page itself. So let's say you're, uh, just for now, you have a whole big graphic that is just one image. You know, someone styled it for you, and instead of having to know all this coding, what you can do is embed an image. Well, here's the easiest way to do that. Go to your photos, and what you could do is the following. Upload a photo into your fan page. So just for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to use the default photo I already have here. Now when you upload the photo, just click on it. After you click on it and everything, you'll just come to the real photo. And remember, we're pretending we're, we uploaded a whole image that we want to be our landing tab, okay? So that's what you would see here. Now here's what you need to do at this point. After you upload the whole photo and you're actually viewing the real photo, because right now I'm on the photo, the individual photo page itself do the following right click and either click on copy image URL or uh, depend on what browser you're using I'm using Google Chrome so mine says copy image URL whatever when you right click on it there'll be something that says image URL whatever that is copy that image URL from your browser alright so after doing copy image URL you could test it by doing the following go to your, go to your URL window and then paste the URL image you had just put you'll know it's correct because it ends in .jpg or .png or something alright after that hit enter and you'll see that the image shows up here so the whole the whole site does show your the whole this URL does take me to the exact image now that we've uploaded it and it's hosted on a server let's now put it onto our welcome page so I'm gonna take this URL again and now let's go back to our Tizish to let's go back to our Tizish static FBML application which it's not this one it's gonna be the one called test box the one that I just did as the demo yours will be named whatever you named it and you click on edit now here under edit here's what you need to do instead of putting all this text let's pretend that the image that you uploaded has all the text that you want do the following just type in this exact code that you see here image source equals and then paste that entire URL and then end it with the quotation so just to reiterate, here's the exact code you want. Here's the exact code you want right here. You ha it has to look like this. This little the bracket sign, IMG space SRC equals, and then in quotations, you know, see the beginning quotation, end quotation, right where the pound sign is, is where you put your image URL. Just like that. All right, and then after that, you hit on you hit save changes, and watch what happens now. When we go to our test box, when we go to our test box, we're going to see that image embedded. See, just like that. So now the image shows up here. So here was the whole purpose of me saying this. The whole purpose of this was, um, it might be easier for you, like for example if you want to have a nice looking landing page just to make it one graphic image so you could have someone do it or you could do it on Photoshop or something it's just one image it's not going to be clickable and there's not going to be text that they could highlight but just for the sake of having something that's a good welcome tab maybe make it one image for now 
So that way, all you have to do at that point is go to photos, upload your photo just like normal. You know, upload a photo just like no, just like you normally would in any instance. And then after that, all you're gonna do is take the image URL, and then do the code I just showed you here. All right. The key thing is getting the image URL. So keep that in mind. All right. And obviously, the key thing would be having an image that is designed that you want to actually have uploaded. All right. So uh, that's everything I'd recommend on a very basic level. The rest of the stuff requires you to know HTML and stuff, which I will cover in future tutorials. But for now, here's the quickest and most basic thing I would recommend to you. All right. So that's everything on how to use, how to install, use, and set the static FBML application for your fan page. All right. If you have any questions, email me at training at tizish.com or ask me directly here on our fan page. The, asking me directly on the fan page ensures a quicker response. So ask me in here and uh, let me know if you have any issues or problems with trying to install a welcome tab on your page. All right. So that's everything. Like this video and comment on it or better yet, share it with anybody that you feel would take value from it. All right. Well, take care.